Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom of LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's Python tutorial we're going to talk about changing strings. You may be thinking to yourself, uh, Tom, before you told us we couldn't change strings. Well, we can't in theory change a string object that we cr already created, but we can create a new one from that string object. So what we're going to do is um, take a closer look at uh, concatenation and how the whole uh, creating a new string object works. So let's do that. First thing first, let's create a string itself. So a is equal to, uh, let's say cat. Hit return. All right, so we got cat. We'll call it. See, we got a string object called cat, and it has a name of a or a variable of a pointing to it. So now, um, what we want to do is we want to concatenate on it. We want to say cat in a hat. So we'll do a is equal to uh, a plus in the hat, which is our, a new string object. So let's talk about what happens here. New string object, oops, new string object here. All right, we're concatenating it onto our previous string object of cat, and we're reassigning the variable. Uh, to the new string object. So if I hit return and I call it A, boom, cat in a hat. Now, did we create a new string object? Yes. Do we modify this string object? No. Do we modify this string object? No. But what we did was we created a new string object, okay? And, then it, and it has the var variable A assigned to it. All right, so we can also do one through concatenation. Or, I mean slicing, we just did concatenation. So let's do uh, b is equal to the new string. All right, so we got a new string. We'll call it, boom, new string. All right, so this is a string object itself that cannot be modified. Well, let's do b is equal to, um, uh, I don't know, we'll just add something in here. Is a string plus let's do um b and we'll do a slice of zero and a return we'll call b this is a new string which in theory I could have just put b here without putting the slice but you get the idea we can slice it add new um uh, to create a new string object by adding string. So let's talk about what happened here. Because I just, I just confused myself there for a second. So we took uh, B and we sliced 0, which we could have easily just got rid of this and put B there. But anyway, this is slicing. So we sliced from the front and we concatenated this onto this is a new string. Create a new string object here. Of, this is a new string. So we did not modify the current string up here, and we didn't modify this string object, we created a new string object, okay? Um, another method to, uh, you know, modifying and creating a new string would be a something called a using a string method called replace. We haven't talked about string methods, but we'll be talking about them a lot in the next couple of tutorials, and this one is, uh, takes two arguments. It takes the uh, first argument is going to be what do you want to replace? The second argument is saying what do you want to add in replace of the first argument? So let's take a look at this. Let's create a new string. We'll call it a is equal to uh, Python. Python. And we're going to do a is equal to a dot replace. And this is our string method. And now we put parentheses. And our first string part is going to be what are we taking out? So, uh, Python, and then comma, and then our second argument is going to be um, what are we putting in place of Python, and we're going to put ro programming, and we're going to re um, put the parentheses at the end, and what did we just do here? All right, so we took our original string of A right here is our we're calling that A, and it's bringing in our string object, and we're replacing it with a string method that says remove Python and insert programming. All right.
right? So we remove this, and then we insert this in place of this. So we hit return, and now we're going to call A. Oh, programming. Pretty cool, right? Um, so did we change the string, the original string object? No, we did not. We created a new string object. And the way you notice this is the way we what we're doing here at the A equals, we're basically saying, all right, here's my our new string object. All this right here is our new string object that we're creating, and we want to give it the name of A. So that's why I'm using A. So we could do like, we could also do B equals A replace, uh, well, that's not gonna work, so I changed A. So let's, re well, we can replace it with something else. Um, let's, take out programming and we'll put in programmer oops I guess shrink programmer and we'll close that out hit return we'll call B and now we got programmer alright so we didn't create a new string uh, or we created a new string we didn't modify the, the original string object itself but B is still calling so B is calling programmer, A is calling programming. All right, so now we got two string objects. So that's what's going on. If you guys have any questions about this, or, oh, I, I know one more thing on the shape. Um, when using the replace, if I do something like, uh, let's do one more, C is equal to B dot replace. So we're taking the programmer one, and we're gonna take out, uh, programmer and insert Python back in so we'll do Python if you notice I put a capital here now when I hit return and call C we're still getting programmer this uh, replace is case sensitive this argument right here first argument is case sensitive so if it looks if Python goes through and looks at all right, I'm looking for a programmer with a capital R. It doesn't see it. It doesn't make any changes. And here you go. It made no changes. So be cautious of your capitalization in your strings when you're using replace because it will not work. Um, <clears throat> if you got any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Please like the video. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.